Hey guys, my name is Rue and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've been gone almost two weeks and I have to say that I missed filming. Um, I've been really, really busy with work, but today I'm back with a new video to share some of my favorite statement pieces. When it comes to style, I have to say fashion becomes fun when you can add that next bit of drama or that next bit of extraness to your outfit. And I am all about the extra. I love styling my um, outfits for different parties or events or gatherings with friends or family. I love being, um, you know, a little bit more dramatic with my style. I love style. I've always loved fashion and I think it's a great thing to be able to have the confidence to wear what you want to wear and not care what anybody thinks. And that is exactly who I am. I don't care what anybody thinks about an outfit. If I love it, I'm going to wear it. If I think it's cute, I'm going to put it on. And I hope that ladies or guys or men, whoever out there can also do the same thing because I don't think there's anything wrong with having a good time with what you put on. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm extremely over the top, but I do like to make a statement with my outfits. Now, when I'm at work, I'm a little bit more subdued. I'm, I'm pretty, very, very, very casual. Um, but again, like when I'm going someplace, I do want to take it up a notch or two or three. <laughs> Fashion to me is so much fun. And so I have taken five items from my wardrobe to kind of give you some great statement pieces and some ideas on how to make your outfits pop or stand out. I never want to look like anybody else when I walk into a room. Not that I need to be center of attention. I actually don't really like attention. I just like to be different. All right, so let's get started. Today, I have been able to categorize the five items that I'm going to show you into five groups. And I'm going to start off with my first item and my first category, which is jewelry. And I happen to be wearing what I wanted to share. So today I have on a pair of gold hoop earrings and you can get any pair of gold hoop earrings. I tend to like larger pair of gold hoops or hoops in general, but gold would be my favorite. These happen to be Jack Moose earrings and I absolutely love these earrings. These are my latest addition to my earring collection, I guess you can say. And they just have the word Jack Moose written in scripts going around the entire earring. I think they're cute and a big bold pair of gold hoops adds a little bit of edge. It also adds a little bit of like streetwear style to it. Um, I think it takes my white tank top and my gold herringbone necklace to the next level. Like I said, again, you don't need to make this a luxury pair of earrings or a designer pair of earrings to make this look work for you, but it does work. I've seen lots of women wear gold earrings and I can tell you if they would just take those earrings off, their outfit would dramatically change. And because we're doing a little bit of an extra <laughs> kind of vibe today or a statement piece kind of vibe, then I think these would make a great statement piece to your jewelry collection and to your outfit. So my first item in my jewelry category would be a big pair of gold bold hoops. All right, moving on to category number two, and that is gonna be accessories. I have so many accessory ranges from my Oso oh favorite headband collection to sunglasses. I love accessories. I love accessories. I love adding different moments to my um, outfit. And today I have chosen to bring you a pair of sunglasses. So again, these happen to be a luxury pair of sunglasses. My Saint Laurent sunglasses. I love these, by the way. And they would happen to be my heart glasses. I'm gonna put them on for you. So if you want a bold statement pair of sunnies, these are your glasses. So these have been around for quite some time. This is nothing new, okay? I've had them for a few years. I didn't get them when they first came out. I kind of let the trend or, um, you know, the craze for them die down, and then I got them. 
Um, and I think that they are definitely staples with the Saint Laurent brand. They continue to sell them. They continue to put out new colors every season. So I didn't feel bad when I purchased them because although the trend died, people stopped, you know, kind of wearing them, posting, posting them on social media. I tend to do that a lot. I tend to wait until items have kind of like gone out of style, sort of say, before I purchase them. And my only dilemma with that is a lot of times the price has gone up. However, these are really cute. They make a statement. They are bold. They are a statement piece. They protect my eyes because they really are dark. I love them. Um, but again, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on a pair of designer sunglasses. I also have a pair of red ones. They're pretty identical to the black ones. And I got these from Amazon and they were like maybe, they were under $10 for sure. So it goes to show that you don't need to spend a ton of money to get that look that I'm talking about. And these again are definitely a statement piece. They look incredibly fun and stylish. And well, I think I can pull them off. I think that anybody can pull anything off that they're confident in. So that's my two cents. But anyways, I love these. I love my Saint Laurent ones. I love my Amazon one. And again, statement pair of sunnies. Okay. Moving on to my next item, which happens to be the shoe category. And although it's not my favorite category to spend money on, it really isn't. I prefer handbags, accessories, jewelry. I prefer those things over shoes. I still do have, you know, some statement shoes. I wanted to share with you, of course, what's, what's my favorite design? You know, Gucci. I've had these shoes for years and I'm a comfort shoe person and i love this particular shoe i've worn it it's old y'all so don't don't judge don't judge the shoes however they make such a statement every single time i wear them i get compliments on them so with that being said i'm sharing with you my gucci loafers now these oh y'all again old i have worn these suckers out <laughs> they look pretty bad under here but again these are my favorite gucci loafers i actually also have them in whites because hey you, you got to get both pair right so these are the gucci jordan or jordan um loafers and i love them and they have the bees and the stars on them so cute so adorable i still wear them they need to be resold i know that one day I'll get to that. But I love these shoes. I've had them for years. They don't go out of style. I could literally wear something so plain, all black, all white, you know, and I don't know what to wear, but I throw these shoes on and now my outfit is popping. And that's the Gucci Jordan loafers with the bees and the stars on them. These shoes have seen better days. However, um, I've worn the mess out of these things, but these are like my favorite Gucci shoes. I love these things. I think they're super stylish. I think they make a statement. They are a loafer with a twist. And so that's typically what I look for when I go to look for outfit staple piece, pieces is I want the simplicity of something with a twist like, like these my gold hoops with the twist my black sunnies with the twist heart shape a black loafer with some gold embroidery I love these shoes they're super comfortable so if you guys ever want a pair of loafers I would highly recommend these they stretch to mold to your feet perfectly again i've had them for years they've had many many wears i will never get rid of them that's why they will be resold so that i can continue wearing them and like i said i have a white pair as well but i love these things and they make a statement without being too loud um in my opinion and you know i just love them so i would recommend these to anybody and I would say that I think these are a great statement piece to any outfit. All right, so moving on to my fourth category, which is ready to wear. Now, <laughs> this is where I spend my coins. 
here and on handbags the most. I love ready to wear. I don't have a ton of it, but typically ready to wear is a little bit more pricey. Um, and so even though I don't have a lot, they typically, the pieces typically cost, they cost a grip, right? So I was very excited to get this piece this past winter. Um, I was obsessed when I saw this, this item, obsessed. You know, I, I hear people saying that, but yeah, I get it. That's how I felt about this particular item I'm about to share with you. So I can't remember where I saw it first. I just know that I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. And initially it came out, it sold out. It had to have come out last, I don't know, fall. I don't know, I, I guess. Um, however, I was like, I can't afford that. I can't afford it. But your girl sold a handbag. I sold a handbag for what I thought was going to be another handbag. And I happened to see this item come in. I was like, forget the handbag. I want this instead because I feel like it's iconic. I feel like, and maybe it's going to become something that's a staple with the brand. I don't know. But let me just show it to you. All right. Okay. All right. So it's a ready to wear piece. Like I said, it's actually a coat and I'm not going to really be able to probably try it on, but I'm going to show it to you. It is the Saint Laurent coat. Oh my God. With the YSL. Oh, embroidery on the back. Talk about statement piece. I don't have to wear anything else. <laughs> this coat, I haven't worn it yet. The time I got it, winter was good and over in Louisiana. So I have to wait until next year. And, and that's okay because she's pretty. And um, yeah, but she is beautiful. Okay, beautiful. I love her. Love, love, love her. Oh, it's a pea coat style. It's a pea coat style. She's still got tags and stuff on her because she's new. But she is so pretty. Guys, I don't have any pictures with me um, trying it on or anything. I'm sorry. And uh, when I style it eventually, I'm going to come back and show you guys this later. But. Um, for now, I just wanted to show you a glimpse of a bomb. <laughs> I know that word is kind of like aging me, <laughs> but bomb ready to wear piece. I still am obsessed with this coat. Cannot wait to wear it uh, this upcoming year and um, styling it and just feeling so good when I put it on my body. Um, yeah, ready to wear is something, like I said, I don't have a ton of because the pieces that I do purchase tends to cost, you know, a pretty penny. However, I will, I plan to have this coat forever um, and I'll just continue wearing tank tops <laughs> and t-shirts to work so that I can afford <laughs> Saving pieces like that. And again, you don't have to buy an expensive luxury or designer coat to get that look. You can buy a very, very nice pea coat style jacket or coat and wear it um, with, you know, something that elevates that coat, a scarf, shoes, you know, um, a hat, because I... I'm a hat person too. So all those types of things definitely elevate um, an outfit or elevate your style. And so I love this. I do believe this is a statement piece. It will definitely be a statement when I wear it. Um, and so, yeah, that is my number four ready to wear statement piece. All right, so I'm down to my final item. And this last category, of course, is handbags, which I think you guys know I love handbags. Um, I think I've mentioned to you before that I do have a favorite handbag um, overall. 
I have a favorite designer, which is Gucci, but I have a favorite handbag, which is the Fendi Baguette. And excuse, that was Naomi shivering, shaking, whatever she's doing on the couch. Cause she's right here as per usual. But this is a statement bag. So, and my very favorite handbag. <laughs> this purple sequin baguette is my favorite handbag and probably one of my favorite statement pieces. I love it. It makes a statement. It stands out by itself. Just like this, I can have on this white tank top, you know, and walk outside with this bag and statement, statement automatically. You don't, again, need to buy a Fendi baguette. You can find sequin bags on Amazon. You can find sequin bags in other designers. This bag means a lot to me because it just represents so much of what I love in terms of style, fashion, the handbag that I love, Sex in the City. It's sentimental. This is, I have several handbags in my collection and this is a forever bag would i ever sell it it would be the last bag that i would sell uh, in my collection because i love it so much i know that sounds really crazy to even love items and you know possessions like that but it's very very sentimental to me regardless this is a statement bag first of all the color is beautiful i mean purple is my favorite color but how can you not love this purple oh my god <laughs> it's so pretty how can you not love purple it's so bomb <laughs> i know i keep saying that but it's so bomb it's such a beautiful color i love pink too but purple just stands out in a different way um and it makes me happy and i don't wear this bag very much it is definitely a bag for I wouldn't say special occasions like, you know, a fancy event, but I would never wear this bag to work. Um, I have to go somewhere that allows me space and that I feel like my bag will have a place to go because if not, and it can't be like a crowded place because if something happens to her, I won't be able to get it again. This bag is not being made right now again and to buy it on the pre-love market would be astronomical so i definitely um you know got this bag for a decent price and now that it's not available anymore i don't know what the cost would be so she's precious to me and so yep statement bag best statement bag out there um and i love it okay guys that does it for my five statement pieces in my wardrobe I do plan to do another video like this because trust me, I have lots of statement pieces, but I just wanted to give you a glimpse of some of the things that can make a statement with your outfit styling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. So now would be the perfect time to like, comment, and subscribe. Also ring the notifications bell so that you get notified when I post new content. Thank you for being a part of the Rue Crew and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.